Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode 43, New Girl Order, Ian McKell. Some housekeeping first, um, this video is published on the 9th of February 2022. There is still time to enter our first birthday giveaway by looking at Matt Black American Geography Part 1 and Part 2. The draw will be taking place, or at least the, the competition closes on Valentine's Day and the winner will be announced shortly after Valentine's Day. That is February the 14th, so you've got a few days left to do that. There is an affiliate link down below if you're interested in buying this book. It's I really wanted to start off this review by saying it Monty Python style and now for something completely different because it is in very many ways something completely different, although I suppose it is documentary photography, which is very often what we do find ourselves looking at on this channel. This book was published by Hoxton Mini Press in April 2019. I picked up my copy in June of 2019 and it's uh, quite unlike most of the rest of the books in the way. Uh, Ian is known for documenting countercultures, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, he's done it all around the world, in fact going right back to his early days in photography in the 1970s. Um, yeah, so he's he's got some uh, track record in this. There's an introductory piece written by Gemma Hadley, uh, where she explains some of the history behind the work. Uh, for example, it explains that uh, over two years he had spent time uh, with, well, a group of young female artists living in Tottenham struck by their sparkly personalities and quirky dresses. Gemma writes in her introduction, what this new body of work has in common with his earlier series is a desire by Ian to record, indeed to, quote, take up that singularly photographic opportunity to be involved with and yet remain outside an alternative culture. So that's what we're doing. We're being involved with but remaining outside. Uh, she concludes, whether it's quiet moments of contemplation or mischievous merrymaking, Ian's images remind us that it's okay to embrace the most creative parts of who we are and to follow where our desire for self-expression leads. I will definitely highlight some of my absolute favourites at the end.
So as we find ourselves coming towards the end of New Girl Order by Ian McKell, I suggest that we consider various things for our own photography. What is there any similarity between this and work that you might be producing? If so, what? And if, if not, what could you include? These sort of more formal... Uh, there's some something in the introductory uh, statement about how we have a variety of opinions, like how much is Ian involved in the work here? Has he posed these, or is he recording things that he has seen? It's very interesting. These obviously look quite posed, but I, I doubt that he was responsible for the costumes, for example. Uh, this piece of graffiti, I think, is absolutely fantastic. I do, I, I do have this love of graffiti. It must be said, or should we say, street art? I think it's something uh, which is well. It's easy to dismiss it as simple graffiti, which this is not, is it? Let's be completely honest. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy to see that. And then just to look at the top quarter the top fifth of the photograph and see the windows with the the coverings on as well sort of it's quite uh, quite a dichotomy there isn't it uh, these portraits i find absolutely fascinating uh, because we see the guitarist in the same you know in the same place in the same pose we can identify you know some luggage behind uh, so we can see that they're you know they're sitting on the same stool in the same place and there's quite a difference isn't there between these two photographs but i find them well, I don't know. It's an interesting way, isn't it, of, of the sort of the environmental portrait and then the more traditional, shall we say, portrait, something which could be incorporated in our own work. This I love. I don't know whether it's uh, whether it's the expression, whether it's the light on the hair, whether it's the, the background, which to me looks like sort of pink or red sperm swimming in a sea of dark blue. <laughs> could be, couldn't it? Uh, but I just there's something between the background and the subject. Uh, it is, for me... I think it's one of my favourite portraits that I've looked at in ages. Something very uh, captivating about that, it must be said. Uh, some more street art, perhaps? Uh, either way, I find that uh, you know interesting, and it's the sort of thing that I wouldn't mind having like a postcard of on my wall. Um, what's it all about? I haven't got the foggiest. Uh, this portrait, this look has kind of been overdone somewhat, and yet it works really well here. We're used to seeing this, aren't we? This sort of dual colour light portrait and yeah I think it's fantastic and with the the skeletons and the bones yep got a lot of love for that one very good indeed so New Girl Order by Ian McKell definitely something to think about and uh, if you uh, if you like it as I say there's some affiliate links uh, down below in the description and if you give us a, a like and a subscribe for more great content well you know where to come if it's photo book reviews you're after Robin's Book Club is the place for you